Hello and welcome friends! My name is Frenzy here and once again we are taking a look at Kerbal Space Program mod overviews and we're, we're specifically taking a look here at one of my favorite all-time mods which is Trajectories. It is a must-have mod for me because I love to reland things, I love to you know kind of get that SpaceX style of uh, landing and if you've seen any of my other videos where I do SpaceX stuff you'll probably notice Trajectories in there because it really helps you pinpoint where you're going to be landing if you're going to be landing on a planetary body that has as an atmosphere atmosphere is it, it, you know it makes things very difficult to predict because there's drag there's lift um you know certain parts give different drag numbers and so you can kind of see it there and, and i'll talk about it a little bit more here but you can see um the, those red lines and there's like a cross hair almost uh, in the middle there um, as we start to burn back towards KSC, and I want to land there, you know, I want to land this stage back here so I can recover it. And uh, as I burn back towards the KSC, you can see that little red cross here, or um, plus sign, whatever you want to call it, it's, it's moving back. And that's generally almost a pretty, I'd say a pretty darn accurate um, indication of where you're going to land. Now, there's a few things to keep in mind here. This I'm putting myself right at KC, so it's going to put me there. But keep in mind, it, it, it's based upon my current situation. So sometimes it's the direction that I'm facing. So, for example, if I were to deploy air brakes early on, that would significantly affect where I'm going to be coming down to. So you kind of do have to take some of those factors into consideration when you're doing this um, as we come in here for a landing. But for the very, for the most part, if you're just kind of looking to get an idea, all right, where am I generally going to come down? This is an awesome mod as we deploy those landing legs and we get ready for a very... Oh, that was actually perfect. Wow, that was uh, first attempt, too. Very shocking. Um, <laughs> not very often. Usually I have to use that quick save button there. And it's, again, any planetary body, this is um, late around joules so any any planetary body that has a atmosphere it, it'll guide you and, and one thing that's pretty cool too you saw there was it actually you can use the maneuver node system to kind of pinpoint where you'd like to be too so that's a pretty cool thing here and we're just kind of fooling around here going down into lathe and if you're familiar i use uh, graphical uh, stock visual enhancements scatterer um, texture replacer so there's a lot of different things that I'm using that's gonna go ahead and give us a very beautiful Kerbin and other planets here in case you're wondering so it, it does work pretty well um, it works for I believe it works pretty decently for lathe um, I think it sometimes struggles a little bit with Duna depending particularly if you're using like something like this like if you were trying to land like a shuttle on Duna you know sometimes people want to do that stuff um, it's not as accurate but um, it may have been updated since I've tried those things as well. Um, I will say it has gotten extremely accurate with Kerbin. Um, particularly if you're flying something, this is kind of just a pseudo shuttle I created. I'm, I'm pretty awful with planes, as you'll see here. Just me kind of wobbling, wobbling all over the place here. <laughs> but um, it, it's it's very good. If you like to be a space plane person, you like to reland those things, as you know, I'm sure it can be a pain in the neck to have to try and say, all right, where is this thing going to land? You know, particularly when you're going through large parts of the atmosphere, um, when you're, you know, you're kind of gliding through the atmosphere, you just gradually slow down, and so you got to figure out where is it going to place you. And it was pretty pinpoint on, actually. I, I kind of thought, well, maybe I'll undershoot it because then I could use my engine just to catch up a little bit here. Uh, but it, it was pretty much pinpoint, which is pretty incredible too. So it, it's really something you want to be using if you have any ideas of landing with a specific point on a body that has an atmosphere. Highly recommend it to you guys, and we'll just kind of finish out my terrible landing here. Um, but if you like this video, go ahead and tap that like button. button. If you'd like to see more, feel free to subscribe. I'd love to have you guys aboard. Any comments or suggestions of mods you'd like to see going forward? Um, if you'd like to see me live stream KSP and other games, you can check me out at twitch.tv slash frenzy1. And now that I'm done plugging myself, let's watch myself fail, fail here. And uh, as always, I will see you next time. There's the failure. There's the failure. Classic Kerbal landing. <laughs> See ya.